saw them in the limitless stream, hopping, hopping, croaking, bleating, urging inhumanly through the spectral moonlight in a grotesque, malignant, saraband of fantastic nightmare. How cool is that guy? He is. Nosferatu. Oh, is it? That's what I said. <laughs> In the afterlife? And Who is this? This is the spawn of Yogg-Soth. Yeah, I'll butcher it. Totally. 100%. And we have the Banshee. Fantastic nightmare. And brains. It's the Migos. Migo brain jars. Is that Loch Ness? Limitless stream, flopping, hopping, croaking, bleating, urging inhumanly through the spectral moonlight with a grotesque, malignant, saraband of fantastic nightmares. family? I was waiting for his eyes to light up and I got it. Oh, <laughs> these are great. <laughs> the creature from the Black Lagoon, the wolf man, these are impressive. This camera does not do these justice. And we were told that a, a lot of them are actual movie props. Vampire. Is a monster roughly kissed by W. Morrison? The mummy and Frankenstein's monster. And after, after walking out of the haunt, I was waiting on this guy to move. His eyes, his eyes look very realistic. Those are impressive. Uh, that's why I was waiting for him to move. Yes, they are. Okay. Oh, uh, the buzzard with a human head. Might be a project for you. Oh, the flavoring is better when we use those tarantula hairs. The you chicken is the syrup. I had that strange effect. I can't tell what it's made of. It feels like a hard plastic. And I'm not tall enough to see the camera, but from what I can see, it looks like some kind of motor in there that's making it turn. Did you cross these big bones and pull them off? That motor's in the show. Oh, a goblin. That's what he is. <laughs> That looks like something from Alien. Reanimated. We're looking at the Hand of Glory. And a Clockwork Child. A Yeti and a cyborg. Dr. Colbert from Netherworld Haunted House, two thousand six, cursed B. Johnson. And it's a Lucite coffin from the movie Free Jack, 1992. 
wonder where this elevator is going. Oh, here you go. Krug, Pogues. No, oh, it's not this an elevator. This is a Krug from the 2007 <laughs> Jason Statham movie, In the Name of the King. For several years, this suit was used at Netherworld and finally retired um, to be placed in this museum. I have, oh, that is a Krug, okay. It's the light. <laughs> A necromonger from the 2004 movie The Chronicles of Riddick. This costume was a gift from our friends at the Imperial Theater in Hamburg, Germany, and was never used at the haunt. It did pop up a time or two at Dragon Con, however. Dragon Con? Never heard of that. This mummy warrior has several parts from the 1999 Brendan Fraser movie The Mummy, and the bodysuit was from the movie The House on Haunted Hill. It was used at another famous haunted attraction before it found its way to Netherworld, the legendary Rocky Point Haunted House. It is hard to miss the art direction of Tim Burton in this elaborate clown costume from the 1992 movie Batman Returns. This tombstone is from the 2017 TV show Lore that explored many fascinating myths and legends. This is a zombie costume from the 2009 movie Zombieland. The haunted house segment was filmed inside of Netherworld, including the moment where our infamous mega mouth puppet ate a zombie. Netherworld staff produced training videos for the zombie actors, and Woody Harrelson's chainsaws from the film are also featured in this museum. These heads on spikes are from the TV show The Originals, and if you look closely, you might find that one of them looks sort of like one of your favorite Avengers. This colonial period figure is from the TV show Sleepy Hollow that ran from 2013 to 2017 and featured a creature-killing Ichabod Crane hunting down and destroying monsters. A bit braver, one might say, than his literary incarnation. What are these like maybe eight feet tall? Well, I'm six foot. So probably about seven or eight. And who do we have here? One of my favorite characters. Saw Puppet Standing. Harrelson's chainsaw from Zombie Land. Two of them. Robert Down the Robert Downey Jr. from the movie In Dreams. Oh, it actually looks like him. I think it was a life cast? Yes. It's just ahead. And here it looks like we have an old, it's, it's not a coffin, I don't think they were, but the nameplate is on the it's other side. Casket. Right, a wicker casket. Well, not a casket, but something that maybe they carried them in. Oh, yeah, to the funeral. Right. The cooler casket. Cooler casket. Yes. And I'll walk back around and get a better picture of that. 
that actually look real. And I don't know how to make it move again. Oh. Impressive work here. Buttons. Looks like we have more buttons to push. Behold, the abomination, a hideous half man, half monster hybrid with a full foam monster suit and custom fiberglass shell armor from Netherworld Haunted Houses 2005 attraction, Abomination. Who says the Easter Bunny has to be friendly? This sharp-toothed rabbit uses his carrot to stab his victims. That is one painful way for you to get your daily dose of vegetables. This massive ogre from Netherworld Haunted House's 2009 attraction, Blood Knight, was a servant of the vampire Lord Gulich. The huge silicone head and thick custom armor makes it one of the heaviest costumes ever worn at the haunt. This is one of the primordial guardians from Netherworld's 2017 haunt, Primal Scream. The mask and costume for this character are light and comfortable compared to monster suits from past season. This is the Mangler from Netherworld Haunted House's 2008 show called the Mangler, a genius level surgeon, cursed with no emotions and incapable of feeling pain after he was burned alive. The Mangler has wormed his way into many of the haunt's storylines and continues to be one of the most popular icon characters at Netherworld. This is the Tin Man from the movie Heartless, a 2010 take on The Wizard of Oz. Variations of this fiberglass armor have been in use at Netherworld for years, especially for themes featuring Volt 13 or the Illuminati. These creatures were some of the sculpts made for the 2010 haunt Gargoyle and were added to many of the animatronic figures that year. This creature, called the Ducralian, was created for Netherworld to promote the 2001 show Planet X. We have the Gilman skull. This guy here, the demon skull. Wow. Yes. It's very, very cool. An alien skull? Like that really looks like a skull. <laughs> and like it would hold big alien eyes in there? Right. <laughs> Common Garrett Goblin. Oh, I know whose skull this is. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster skull. And I think I need this nice for Archie's skull. I'm impressed by the Frankenstein's monster one. Uh, I'm highly impressed by the Frankenstein's <laughs> monster skull. And this is what we were trying to figure out. The cooler casket. A Victorian antique wicker cooling coffin. These coffins had two purported uses. One was to keep the body exposed to the air so that the foul odor would not build up in the sealed container before the burial. It was also used to keep the body contained and aerated until such time as the doctor could arrive to pronounce the person dead. If they were in some sort of coma, air would still reach them. So. And let's turn back to see what's on this wall. Oh, I did not see this skull. A Baroque Venetian skull carnival mask. And 
is it has like jewels in the skull. Egyptian tomb Ushabati replicas. Can't can't pronounce it. Carno Carnosaur print replica. Crinoid fossil. Grotesque. I cannot read that because of the feathers in the way, so I have no idea what it is. And Alpine witch mask. Ah, an Alpine witch mask. Egyptian mummy vertebrae. A Mongolian death worm. Um, Check out the teeth on that thing. Does a large, nasty, intestine-like worm dwell in the heart of the Gobi Desert in Mongolia? A very odd cryptobiological mystery. The so-called Mongolian death worm is thought to exist by, local by the local population, although there has been no physical evidence gathered so far of a scientific nature. They have some problems on their hand if that thing really exists. A Fiji mermaid. Weapons of the early man. Greek Gorgon fragment. A Ouija board planchette. A monkey's paw. No. <laughs> no games played with that one. No. <laughs> Omec head replica. Phrenology bust. This is really interesting. An exploded crusader skull replica. Mayan bass reef. Oh, relief. I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> Oh, and a casting of Bigfoot's foot. So you got a toothache? Because they have the cure. Just oh. pull it out. I was going to say, it looks like the, <laughs> the cure is to rub it out of your hand. <laughs> and what is that? For the vampire hunters? That's right. Prehistoric teeth, and the one on the right is that of a great white. Oh, both yeah. are shark teeth. The other one's a Maclodon. Uh, haunted personal effects. We're not gonna get too close to that. Um, keep playing, Rob. <laughs> and a huge fish. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know what the fish is about. <laughs> Maybe it was just the movie Providence. <laughs> Holy cow. Check that out. The mushrooms growing out of it. Oh, there are mushrooms. So that's the one that has the mushrooms growing out of it. And a tropus. Another one. 2014. And the boogeyman, if you've ever wondered what the boogeyman looks like, this not is <laughs> it's someone's interpretation of the boogeyman. It's not Michael Myers. <laughs> oh, what is that back there? That looks like it came out of the swamp. The yeah, harvest man. The harvest man. I'd say he came from the fields. Those are roots. And next to him is Cronus. And then old Longtooth, <laughs> who doesn't have doesn't any have teeth. Any teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Gulich. Gulich. <laughs> and Lord Berg. Vergongar. Ber Ber yeah. Vergongar. <laughs> and on the bottom row, coming back. I got the Grindle. Oh, that's the oh. Grindle. Yep. And over 
Go left. Something scary. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's got a little bit of octopus going on or something. Yeah, that is what it looks like. Look at she. Frau Perchat. Per she's the gut splitter. Yeah, yeah. she's the gut splitter. That's <laughs> It's what that public education gets you. <laughs> oh, a replica Krampus. I like the traditional wooden Krampus mask down there. Like these ones are more interesting, not those ones. Look at that eyeball. It's so weird. The depth is so weird. Yes. And a replica Krampus Aww. mask. Ha <laughs> ha, it does. <laughs> <laughs> we found this here best. <laughs>